Hello guys and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. In today's tutorial, we will take a look at creating this water puddle using a decal. So let's get right to it. First thing we need to do is create a material and let's name it puddle. I'll name it puddle one because I have another one existing here. Let's open up the material. And now what we need to do is change the material domain to defer decal. And as you can see, an error pops up here. So to solve this, we need to change the blending mode to translucent. We need to fire up Photoshop and create a new document. For the purpose of this tutorial, I created a 500 pixel by 500 pixel new document. And I will take the lasso tool and just draw an abstract shape that will represent the shape of our water pedal. That's good. Now we'll give it five pixel of feather and let's paint it white. And the background, let's paint it black. So now we have this abstract shape. So let's save it back to Unreal Engine, let's load up the shape that we created earlier. Let's drag it here and let's link it with the opacity. Apply. Now we need to add a base color. So let's search for vector constant tree vector and let's give it a color maybe something like this and hit ok and now I'll need to load up a normal map here is a normal map of water that I found on internet you can find it on the internet and download it for free And let's just drag it here and link it with the normal. So here I've lost the paste color because I didn't save. Again. And now as you can notice the normal map is affecting our texture decal here. Already we can use this. We can drag the puddle we created here and you can see it does not look like, color, like water at all. So let's change this. Go to the roughness map and promote the parameter and leave it like this and hit apply. So now we're getting a bit of reflection, but the normal map is way too high. So let's solve that. Let's search for flatten normal. And link that here. And link the results with the normal. And flatness, let's promote the parameter. And just give it something like 0.8. Now you can see we have a very solid effect. Let's apply this. And you already can see. Here are the results. Maybe we need to put 0.9. Yeah, that's good. Also, I think we need to change the color to something a bit darker.
maybe a bit greenish and apply okay that's look good now what we'll do is add a bit of animation if you can see in our first folder we created here there is a very subtle effect of animated water so let's do that to do so we need to introduce a panel node here so let's search for panel and link it with the UVs and apply and let's add speed let's promote parameter and let's add something like 0.5 as you can see here it's moving very fast so let's do something like 0.1 still too fast maybe we'll try 0.05 or 0.01 yeah, I think that's very good and you can see the surface of the water is moving to make this even better this duplicates is normal here with the panner Control D, drag it here, and search for add for uh, multiply node. And let's drag the first normal and the second normal map and link it with the normal flatten node here. And hit apply. And here, what we need to do in the speed parameter, let's put minus 0.1. So here we duplicated the same parameter. You can notice that if we change the parameter here, it will be changed here too. So to solve that, we need to delete this one and promote the parameter again. And let's do. 0.01 and hit apply so here we have a weird effect so let's try add instead of multiply here Perfect. So now what we can do, we can create a texture node to control the scaling of the normal surface of our water problem. To do so, let's search for text coordinates. Also, let's search for multiply node. Let's duplicate it. And let's link that with the coordinates of our panel node. So the first one and the second one. And hit apply. So now we can select the text coordinates and introduce a new value here in these inputs. So let's try 2 by 2 and hit apply. So now we can see the tailing has changed. Let's try something like 0.5 by 0.5. And now you can see the results here. Which is not very subtle. Let's try something like 0.8 
by 0.8 and hit apply and yeah I think it's perfect you can close that so now if you can notice we already have the reflection of our cube let's try a darker color So now you can see the cube is perfectly reflected in the surface of our water pedal. But here is an issue. If we move the cube over the pedal, you can see we have a bit of a weird effect. To avoid that, let's select our water pedal and go to the scale, the X scale, and put something like 0.1 or 0.01 maybe 0.001 that's good and now you can see it's working perfectly so that's it if you enjoyed the video consider liking and subscribing to the channel for new Unreal Engine content thank you for watching